YouTube fellow community, Beach Boys fans, random people on the internet, my name is Giggins, and we are here today to show off uh, another one of my collection videos, which I've been having a lot of fun doing these lately. So, um, today being the birthday of Pet Sounds, May 16th, 1966, um, I thought I would show off my Pet Sounds collection, which I thought I had more of, but apparently not as much as I thought I did. Um, some of it is in boxes, um, currently kind of moving at some point, so a lot of it's kind of put away. Um, but I do have some stuff out and available, so I thought I would show it off. Um, so I'm going to start off with a couple of different things here. <laughs> Stupid thing to say. Um, this is a early 80s, I think 1980, copy of Pet Sounds on cassette. Um, came in this black box with a black spine, which is pretty cool looking. Someone put a sticker on the bottom at some point. Which I think looks really cool. So they must have had them stacked in a shelf like that. Um, really nice sounding quality tape. I mean, it really does sound really, really good. If it wants to come out, I'll show you what it looks like. Oh man, come on. Good lord. All right, that's what the tape looks like. Really nice sounding cassette. I think this came out around 1980, but um. Yeah, very cool to see it with the uh, that black cover like that. Up next is a tape that was actually my mom's that I would play when I was a kid. Um, this is side one is Carl and the Passions. I'm sorry, side one is Pet Sounds. Side two is Carl and the Passions. Um, this is not the original case, I don't think. I'm pretty sure this is a new case. Um, the old one may have broken at some point, but but yeah, this is how the album was issued here in America. Um, if you wanted to get pet, if you wanted to get Carl and the Passions in 1972, you also got Pet Sounds with it. So here's the uh, here's the Pet Sounds side, which is really cool to see with that paper label. You don't see a lot of that paper label stuff anymore. A lot of these older cassettes have just stopped working over time. Um, this one in particular, I can't think of the last time I played it, only because I don't want to damage it, just because it is kind of old. So um, look at that spine, very very cool. But yeah, love that cover. I was always so confused when I was a kid. I always remember being like, who are Carl and the Passions? Like, <laughs> I know the Beach Boys. Um, this one here, this is one of the first um, CDs I got with my own money, I'm pretty sure. I got this, this is the 1999 reissue of Pet Sounds that I got probably that year. Um, I think it was like 11 or 12 when I got this. But I remember saving up money for this and going to a local record store a couple towns over um, and, and buying this CD. I um, forget the name of the place right now. It's not there anymore, but um, it's got the album in stereo and mono, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it's a 1999 mix. And for a long time, this was um, one of my only Beach Boys CDs because I had a hard time finding this stuff when I was a kid. And also, I had most of the stuff I had was on cassette. I mean, I didn't really start buying CDs until a little bit in the mid to late 90s. Because they were expensive. Uh, this is the 40th anniversary edition. This one's really cool. I haven't played this one in a long time. Or watched the companion DVD. But, um, yeah, it's a two-disc set. So it's got the CD in both mono and stereo. And then the, um, the bonus DVD, which has, like, the making of Pet Sounds. which is a 1997... Uh, edit that came out with the Pet Sounds box set at that time and all kinds of really cool bonus features and stuff but the audio it's also got a higher res version of it. it's got a Dolby 5.1 version of it um, it's an awesome setup I like that back cover I think that looks pretty cool with an alternate picture from the uh, session up there and let's see how this opens up yeah it just opens up uh, gatefold style so there's the DVD and the disc. This one is kind of related. Um, the Vitamin String Quartet. I bought this when it came out. Um, they, I'm a, I think they still make albums, but basically they would do like you know, orchestral arrangements of of rock and roll songs. I had one for Weezer. I had one for um, somebody else. Can't remember. I had a, I had a few of these. Um, I haven't played this album in probably over 10 years, um, but I remember really liking it at the time. But they even do hang on to your ego, which is interesting. 
So, vitamin string quartet. Now for the LPs. Um, this is a, I've showed this before a long, long time ago, but this is the Beach Boys Deluxe set, which has pet sounds on it. Um, it's the, so for those of you who haven't seen that video, this was a late 1967 release of three Beach Boys albums as a box set. They did this for a few artists, um, long out of print, and this red label is just someone put red tape on it at one point because the box was breaking, but um, let me pull out Pet Sounds here just so you can see that one. And I also just showed this one on my Instagram channel, so if you if you watch me on Instagram, which is Giggins with an underscore after it, um, I'm doing a whole Beach Boys couple of weeks thing here, I'm just posting Beach Boys stuff. So, here you go. Here's what this looks like. So it says the Beach Boys Deluxe Set in classic duophonic. So this is very cool. This box set has um, Pet Sounds, Beach Boys Today, and Summer Days and Summer Nights, and the records are in great shape. It's a really cool set. Up next is another one of my favorites that I have. This is the 1972 uh, or three, 72 reissue of Pet Sounds through um, Brother Reprise. And this one apparently is becoming more and more rare and more highly sought after because it's just mono. It's the original mono mix. Um, there's actually, I think something that mentions it on it. Yeah, this album was previously released as part of a two record set titled Pet Sounds slash Carl and the Passions, which was the tape you saw earlier. This recording is pressed in monophonic sound the way Brian cut it. So very cool back cover, just a plain, Black and white back cover with a bag of peanuts down there. But the cover, I think, is just really striking. Um, it's really unique to have it without the green border. Having the brown with just the name of the band and no song titles is kind of a cool look. I'm digging it. Now let's see what the, uh, I'll show you the label here. On the Classic Brother reprise, reprise, however you want to say it. Yeah, this one, um, according to some of the books that I have for like price guides for the Beach Boy stuff, this one's like going for like almost 50 bucks sometimes if you find it in really good shape. I don't know why. I think I spent about $4 on it, so who knows? <laughs> but um, really, really dig that one. I, I like how that cover looks. And it was actually in the cutout bin at one point. Um, let me show that because it's got a little cut at the bottom. So for those of you that don't know, the cutout bin was... A machine they put records in, it would take a chunk out, then you put it in like the dollar bin, the cheapo bin. Um, hence the name Cutout. Now, this last one is my absolute favorite holy grail of Beach Boy stuff. One of them, There's I have several, but this is very highly up there. Um, and I'll very gently take this out. But this is my original mono uh, pet sounds in the shrink. Uh, I very rarely pull this out of the sleeve because it's just so delicate. I don't want to ruin it. Um, but this is my original mono Pet Sounds and the Shrink. And I absolutely adore this thing. It's got the original inner sleeve, which I'll show you. But um, really quickly, the story about this thing was when I was in high school, I was on vacation with my family and uh, in upstate New York. And we went to an old store or an old house that was um, had become an antique store. And I remember going to this back part of this house and there was a closet there full of old clothes and there was a box of records on a shelf. Um, and I pulled the box down just to see how I flip through it and see what was there. And this was in there. And at that time, this was like the mid 2000s, people weren't really buying records at that point. So people were getting rid of this stuff because they were like, no one's gonna buy this stuff ever again. So I don't remember how much I paid for it. It's probably pretty cheap because knowing me in high school, I have a lot of money. So I probably spent maybe 10 or 20 bucks on it. Um, but it was one of those things where I, I held it for the first time, you know, taking it out of the box and being like, wow, this is real, like, pet sounds, man, with a shrink on it. Like, you know, it's all perfect. Um, it still blows my mind to this day to hold it and to look at it. So I'm always very careful with this thing. But the original sleeve from the spring of 66. And the record. The record itself, I don't remember... Um, how clean it sounds. I remember last time I played it was a few years ago and it was a little scratchy. So it's not like perfect condition, but um, finding it in the shrink, in mono, you know, the way Brian cut it, as they say, um, to me, this thing is priceless. So I'm not, I don't put a value on this, this kind of thing. 
this for me is just one of those things where it's like this will always be in my collection forever and ever and ever. Um, just an absolute beautiful, beautiful piece of work. One of the best albums they ever made, um, hands down. So that's it. Um, as of right now, as of what I have available, I've got several DVDs. I've got Brian D plays Pet Sounds Live. I've got the Pet Sounds Blu-ray from a couple of years ago about the making of the album they came out with. It was a DVD, it might be a DVD, the classic album series. Um, and then a few other videos about Pet Sounds, but they're in a box, so they're not accessible right now. But that's it. Um, let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you thought about the different versions of Pet Sounds that I have and um, put it on today and enjoy it for its birthday. It's 54 today. It's a very young 54. Um, and that's it. Let me know what you thought. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Giggins. This has been the Beach Boys Pet Sounds, my collection as of, as of available right now. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.